Tahiti is a place that's like, I kind of feel like I'm almost going home when I go there. My brother and Koa Smith came down and Koa Rothman was down there for a bit. And it's just pretty fun, like, just to have all of us down there, you know? I think that's when I do the best is when I'm having fun. always seem to get insane little waves that no one's around and at the end of the day you always feel surfed out and you just feel like that was the best day ever. You hear people say, hey, go out there and have fun. Don't worry about the other competitor. But to actually do it, that's hard. It's pretty hard in the ocean because things are always changing. You can never replicate something to practice it over and over again. Kind of prepare myself the best I can and go out there and not expect anything, but just be prepared. Florence wants to start swinging, grabs around the takeoff. Adjust his line once and just lets that wave engulf him. Julian paddling into this thing and it looks pretty darn good. I mean, look how hollow this thing is. Gets underneath it, there's that foam ball and flies, still stalling, and he's out. Wow, that is the comeback wave that he needed right there. John goes now to answer back. He is super deep. It was all just in those last couple seconds and then me and Julian are paddling in and then they announced that I got the score. Florence back to first on the final exchange to get a semi-final with Gabriel Medina. I just went in, focused on completely what I wanted to do, and it ended up being a heat real similar to the one we had the year before. 
Have a look at this. A solid one for Medina. The bottom drops out. He is in an absolute oh. cave. John's on the next one. Late takeoff. Survives it. This one's wide open. I'd give them both tens, but that's me. John John takes the lead. Medina down to second. It's official. You're looking at the man on top of the Jeep leaderboard. He's going to get a matchup with Kelly Slater in the final here at Chopo. I was just so pumped full of adrenaline. I was just so psyched. I couldn't even calm myself down enough for the final. This is the moment we've been waiting for. John John Florence about to take on the greatest of all time, Kelly Slater. Being in a heat with someone like Kelly or someone like Nick, I, I've learned so much from those heats, you know, seeing just how they approach it. Kelly strikes back, trying to match John. Grabs the rail after a big pump for speed. He comes out after the spit. And he just has to look back and enjoy the ride. Looking for more, looking for more. And just doesn't quite come out of that one. Uh, John's called it quits, I think. Um, find out what happened, maybe. There's still 50 seconds remaining, but John's given it up. I felt my knee go just past the stopping point of bending sideways. And I didn't know how bad it could be or where it was at. The runner-up of the Billabong Pro Tahiti, John John Florence. And just thinking about that final, what happened? What would you do differently? And ultimately, are you okay? We saw you kind of hobbling up the stage earlier. Tweaked my knee a little bit on the last wave. It's, it's all good though, it's pretty minor. You first surfer to represent Hawaii to be world number one since the late Andy Irons. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything, you know. I'm, I have my whole family, my mom and my brother and everyone back in Hawaii watching. So thank you for the good waves and the, yeah, it's awesome. John John Florence, everybody, your new world number one. And John came to us with this idea to create something so that he doesn't get more injured with his knee. We're gonna have the proper taping for the knee for multi-directional and brackets on the wetsuit to stabilize vertically. We decided to work in conjunction with Mark Kazuki and Tim Brown where they would work directly on his knee and we would work on the wetsuit. In my head, I was just like, Hey, I'm gonna just superhuman heal this knee right now. I'm gonna do everything I can every single day until lowers. Welcome to round one, heat number six at Lower Trestles in San Clemente, California. This heat features a brand new world number one, John John Florence. One, two, three, four. in regards to if the kid could go above the lip with his knee supposedly in a brace. Well, he just did it. Moving on into round three is John John Florence on top of the Jeep leaderboard for the first time in his career. Takes on wild card Brett Simpson from Huntington Beach, California. Can he hold on to the lead or can he surf with his knee or just how's the pressure of holding the yellow jersey in? 
You know, you start to listen to all these stories that people create, and you start to fall into that, and you start to believe in them. So I think that kind of caught up to me, and I kind of went off on my game plan. Brett Simpson knocked out world number one, John John Florence here at the Hurley Pro. Florence counting a 13th this season in the world title showdown, which is gonna make things really tough for him. I knew what I did wrong, and I saw that I got caught off guard by listening to everything else, and I'm just stoked to be in this position that I'm at at this point in the year.